Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the Pletty Rosa Homestead. Well, today you get to see me a little bald. Well, a lot bald. It's grown back white. Uh, I was talking at the cancer center. Uh, I'm done with all my treatments now, thank God. And now it's just healing. And I was talking to one of the girls about my website here. And I said, yeah, I'm going to have to get something so that I can do some videos. And she said, Donna, part of your radiation and chemo treatments is feeling proud of yourself afterwards that you've completed this all. It's a rite of passage getting chemo that you're going to lose your hair. And she said, don't let, don't be upset that anybody will see you without hair. That hair is not you. Hair is just a piece, another piece of the puzzle that makes you up. So I'm going to do this. I'm kind of uncomfortable about it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to let you all see me bald, white hair growing in, fuzzies. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about something that I really didn't know a lot about it. And that is Epsom salt. I've come to love Epsom salt after having cancer. Uh, I always knew you could pour Epsom salt in a bowl and put your feet in it. And it would really soften your feet up. And I knew to throw Epsom salt in your garden uh, because it's filled with magnesium and that's great for plants. But I didn't know everything about it. So I thought I would do a little video today. I don't know how long this is going to take, but about Epsom salt. And yes, I had to put it on an iPad because part of my chemo, I think I forget things a lot. So I want to make sure I told you everything. So I thought I'd bring my laptop in. So Epsom salt, which is also known as just salts, was first found in the waters of a town named Epsom in England. Didn't know that. Okay, I'm gonna give you 10 different things that Epsom salt is good for. A lot of them you may know about. Number one, the biggest thing Epsom salt is used for is body aches, and I can tell you it's 100% true. I got mine at on Amazon, Amazon Basics, and mine's lavender scented. It comes in just no scent at all. It comes in lavender, comes in eucalyptus. Uh, I chose lavender to calm me down. So one of the most common uses for Epsom salt is to treat body aches. The magnesium and other compounds are absorbed into your skin and work to relieve aches and pains caused from tension and inflammation. Epsom salt draws toxins from the body to relieve swelling, sprains, and bruises. And to use it, you just add two cups of Epsom salt to your bath and submerge yourself for at least 20 minutes. I didn't know that much. I knew you could put it in a bath and I knew it would make the water soft, but I didn't know that it alleviates and draws out toxins. So that's great to have around your house. A second way is stress relief and a sleep aid. When your body is deficient in magnesium, it can lower your serotonin levels, making you sad while also affecting your appetite and sleep. When you soak in a bath of Epsom salt, it aids your body in the production of serotonin. Magnesium in the Epsom salt not only helps to reduce stress and improve your mood, but it also helps you to sleep. Plus, studies show that those suffering from Lyme disease can greatly benefit from Epsom salt soaks. Just be sure the water is not too hot. You want to keep it at like 98, like your body temperature is. Number three, healthy feet. Not only can Epsom salt be used to help relax tired feet, it can also be used to treat athletes' feet and toenail fungus. And all you have to do is add a half a cup to warm water and soak those feet. Number four, an anti-inflammatory. Epsom salt is a great anti-inflammatory and has been shown to decrease inflammation while also increasing the elasticity of your arteries. Soak yourself in an Epsom salt bath a few times a week to lower inflammation that can lead to joint aches. Number five, sunburn relief. This one I never knew about. Following a long day at the beach, we often find ourselves grabbing a bottle of the more commonly used aloe vera to soothe sunbaked skin. Epsom salt anti-inflammatory properties make it a great alternative for relief from too much sun exposure. In an empty spray bottle, you can mix two tablespoons of Epsom salt with one cup of water and then spray the affected area. Never knew that. Here's another one I didn't know about, splinter removal. 
Stubborn sprint, good one, Donna. Stubborn splinters often lead us to painstakingly digging at our skin with a pair of tweezers. Instead, try soaking in a bath of Epsom salt first. This increases that osmotic pressure of the skin, which will help draw the splinter to the surface. The magnesium will also help reduce inflammation around the splinter, making it easier to remove. If it's just a toe or a finger, dissolve two tablespoons of Epsom salt in a cup of warm water and soak. It's an exfoliator. Now this one I knew about. Help get rid of dead skin and to remove impurities. Add a pinch to your normal face wash. Gently, re gently rub in a circular motion and rinse. Acne treatment. I did not know about this one. Epsom salt is also an effective natural face cleanser containing antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties, making it a fantastic choice to treat acne. Before bed, mix a teaspoon of Epsom salt with your normal facial cleanser and wash as normal. Healthy hair. I'll have to worry about it soon, but not now. Not only will your, will your body thank you for adding Epsom salt into your daily routine, your hair will also benefit. To remove a buildup of styling products, including hairspray and those other items you put in your hair, mix one cup each of Epsom salt and lemon juice into a gallon of water. Cover <clears throat> and let the mixture sit for 24 hours before use. Simply pour over your hair and let the mixture sit for 15 to 20 minutes. Wash and condition as usual. To add volume to your hair, combine equal parts of conditioner and Epsom salt. Apply to the hair and let sit for 20 minutes. The Epsom salt helps remove excess oil that weighs the hair down. And for the last one, and this is what I'm going to be doing today, Epsom salt laundry booster. Do you know you can make your laundry smell better? Remove some toxins from your store laundry detergent. It's very easy to make. You take one cup of Epsom salt, a quarter cup of baking soda, and to use the Epsom salt in the laundry, simply add one to two tablespoons to each load along with your choice of laundry detergent. And that works as a laundry booster. And it will be your softener at the same time. So those are just a few things I wanted to go over and I wanted to tell you, I want to make a video so that you all knew I'm okay. Uh, like I said, I've gone through all my treatments. Uh, my blood levels are just starting to come up again. My platelets are low, so I can't go out. I'm kind of confined to the house. So uh, I just wanted to show everybody I'm doing good. I could tell you anal cancer is a very, very tough recovery process. The radiation that they use is is really is really a tough thing to do. I got through it. And I know other women who are strong can get through it if this, or men, if this happens to you. Just believe in God and ask him for your help. Ask him to send his angels down to be with you. And that's all it takes. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's video. It was something that brought some light into my eyes about this. And I hope it gives you a little bit of insight as healthy as Epsom salt is and it is it's not expensive at all so go out and get yourself some Epsom salt okay everybody thanks for visiting the Paletti Rosa homestead I look forward to seeing everybody again soon and thank you all for staying around and supporting me during this tough time okay god bless everyone bye-bye